In this episode, I answer the question, is a home a good investment? Okay, before we get into this of answering, is a home a good investment? I wanna break that question down because I believe that words matter and the question wasn't, is real estate a good investment? It was, is a home a good investment? And I look at a home much differently than I look at real estate in general of having income producing properties of a duplex or multiplex or a single family home that you're renting out to try to generate cash flow. So let's keep that in mind as an answer is a home a good investment? So first, to me, a home is a home first. All right, a home is a home first. I don't think you should go into buying a home, whether it's your first home or your next home, and looking at it as an investment. You should be looking at it as a home. To me, a home is not just where memories are created, but it's where memories are shared. So the kids go away uh, to college and maybe they come back for the holidays and you talk about that, uh, that Christmas in 1996. Or you go away on a great vacation and then next year you're sitting around the kitchen table having a cup of coffee talking about what a great time that is. When I think about the, my homes that I grew up in as a young kid, I remember my, my mom, my dad, my brothers, measuring me on the kitchen wall, the kitchen, the corner that went from the kitchen into the hallway and seeing, I remember seeing that. And to me, that's what a home is, a place where memories are created and where memories are shared. It's not just a place to, to store your stuff and, and a shelter uh, to protect you. It does all those things It offers safety and security, but it's a place where memories are created and memories are shared. To me, a home is a home first. Next, a home is a forced savings account. It's a forced piggy bank because you're, you're putting money into it that you will eventually be able to get out hopefully, depending on what's happening with the market, depending on how you upkeep the property, depending upon um, how quickly you want to uh, sell the home. You know, if, it, if you only live there for a year, uh, you're not gonna be able to save a whole lot. If you're looking to live there three years, maybe you're, it's gonna be break even. You know, and these numbers are all, it, it, it's also dependent upon so many variables. So just speaking in general, to me, it's a four savings account because if you're paying rent, you're just paying rent. That's going into the landlord's pocket. You're not getting it back. The only thing you're getting back at the end of renting is hopefully the security deposit. But when you own the home, you're putting that money into it and you're eventually going to get it back. You know, it would be great to break even. To me, if you break even after three years, that's pretty good. That's not that's not that bad considering if you were renting and paying $1,000 a month in rent, you just spent $36,000. Now imagine if you own the home and at the end of three years, you break even, it's zero. What's so wrong with that? Honestly, you're, you're actually up $36,000 versus giving your landlord $36,000. So to me, it's a forced savings account that eventually over time, you might be able to, to withdraw a little bit out of it when you decide to sell it and move on to your next home or move on to your next location. So it can be a great forced savings account because candidly, how many of us are really that great at saving money? And finally, if you pay off the home free and clear, no mortgage, yes, a home is a great investment. So finally, at thing number three, after you realize a home is a home, it's where memories are created and shared, it's a forced savings account. If you can get all the way through paying off that mortgage and having that chunk of change that when you sell it, 
or you decide to rent it out and move on to another property, you have all of that cash flow there because you own the home free and clear, then yes, a home can be a great investment, but only after those other two things take place. If you have any specific questions about your unique situation, whether it's buying or selling or investing in real estate or how to get your money in order to, to scrap together for that first down payment or put together to start investing in homes, let me know. You can hit me up at questions at darrenpersinger.com or find me on Twitter at Darren Persinger. I look forward to helping you buying, selling, or maximizing the investment and the memories in your current home.